Upgrading to an SSD isn't as hard as you think. In fact, anyone with a screwdriver kit and a wee bit of technical know-how can do it without much difficulty. Even if you don't have the know-how, it's absolutely fine because we'll guide you through the entire process in this video. To begin with, you need to understand two things. Picking the right SSD from different types of SSDs available and how to prepare your laptop or desktop for the upgradation process. It's important to know the types of SSDs that are available in the market. Currently, the ecosystem is a little overcrowded with a ton of different form factors. There are broad classifications with a lot of variations in each category. If you'd like to know more about identifying form factors, then you can head over to our other video, the link for which is in the description. However, it's likely that the hard drive in your device belongs to one of the following six categories. 2.5 inch SATA, 1.8 inch micro SATA, PCIe SATA, M SATA, M.2 SATA, or embedded custom SSDs. If you're upgrading a desktop hard drive, then things get even simpler because you'll most likely have the 2.5 inch form factor. But for now, we'll move on to the actual process of upgrading to an SSD. The first step that you need to do is prepare your desktop or laptop or ultrabook for the upgrade. You can use a number of different tools to back up your data and then go for a clean install of Windows or you can clone the hard drive. We've done a clonezilla tutorial and you can find the link in the description below. Now let's begin by getting the cover off your portable device and figuring out what form factor SSD it can support. To do this, flip the device over and remove only those screws which lets you remove your hard drive. This is different from manufacturer to manufacturer and from model to model. Usually hard drives are the easiest to access without pulling too many components out of the device. Once you get to the hard drive, identify the form factor and the thickness or the height of the drive. Usually there will be a protective cage which you might have to remove to know the exact model number. If it's a 2.5 inch drive or a M SATA drive, then your job's made a lot simpler. But if it's an M.2 drive, then you need to figure out all the parameters of which the most important is whether it's a PCIe SSD or a SATA SSD. To figure that out, please check the documentation of the laptop or ultrabook that you are upgrading. The principal thing to note here would be the height of the drive which can be 5, 7 or 9 millimeters. Obviously, slots with greater height will accommodate all variations of the 2.5 inch SSD. After removing the hard drive, you'll find that they are encased in a protective cage which you will have to swap onto the SSD and then screw it back into the laptop or notebook. So here we are pro removing the protective drive cage on the hard drive. We are tackling each screw one by one. And now that we have the drive cage away, we take the SSD that we want to put into the laptop and put the drive cage on it. And now we start screwing in all the screws one by one all over again. Now this might seem a little boring so we have some little fun music for you which should begin playing in the background any moment. Ah, there it is. Now that all four screws are done, we will snap the cable back onto the hard drive, like so. Then put the SSD back into the laptop, snap it in place, take the screws and start putting it back in one by one again. And that's it, we are done. Pop the hatch back on. And switch your computer on. Let's start with upgrading an M.2 drive. You've already figured out which is the compatible SSD and all that remains is to install it. So here's the Ultrabook that we have opened up. This here is the drive slot. 
Match the notches and insert the M.2 drive and rest it so that the screw hole is aligned with the upper notch of the drive. Screw it in and you're done. Laptops or notebooks use the 2.5 inch form factor or the 1.8 inch form factor. M.2 drives are designed for portability and are commonly used in small form factor PCs and ultrabooks. The last thing we'll be showing here is upgrading a desktop HDD to an SSD. This is the simplest of them because the PC case and your cabinet has ample space. This is your hard drive connected to your motherboard with two cables, the SATA power and the SATA data. You need to carefully remove both cables and simply attach them to your new SSD. But you better have a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch adapter or your cabinet's drive gauge needs to have mounting holes for the 2.5 inch drive if you wish to secure the drive. So slot the drive in and into its place and you're done. Choosing the right SSD is a two-step process. First you need to look at the usage scenario. Do you need an SSD for gaming? Do you need it for general performance boost? Or do you want enterprise features like data integrity and great random I.O. performance? There are drives for all of these scenarios. For enthusiasts who need great performance and are into gaming, you have the Kingston HyperX Fury and the HyperX 3K. For Enterprise, there is SSD Now E100 and the E50. And for General Performance Boost, you have the SSD Now V300, V310, UV100 and the KC380 series. Check them out, you'll find one that suits your needs. And now comes the question of capacity. An OS and all the general software that you need easily fits in a 120 or 128 GB SSD. But if you wish to dual boot or if you want to move your games onto the SSD for faster load times, then you should go for a 240 GB or a 256 GB drive. And in some cases, a 480 GB drive. And for those who want to keep everything on the SSD, then you better have deep pockets since the 960 GB drives aren't exactly cheap. For the average user, a 240 or 256 GB hard drive, or SSD, sorry, hits the spot. Kingston is one of the more dependable makers of SSDs and has multiple options across verticals. From our experience, SSDs with the Sandforce 2281 controller are some of the best in the industry and the Kingston V300 series happens to have the same controller. And with that, you now learned how to give your laptop, ultrabook or desktop a new lease of life with an SSD. Thank you for watching and do let us know in the comments about your experience while upgrading to an SSD.